Muhammad Ali, and I would like to ask you, what made you change to the Islamic faith? And do you keep strictly to the laws of Islam? And are you as good a Muslim as you are a boxer? Well, it's not for me. You know, the word Muslim means one who submits entirely to the will of God. Mm -hmm. One who submits entirely to the will of God. That's what Muslim means. So I, I don't know, I cannot be the judge on how much I submit entirely to the will of God. God himself can only judge us. So I can't say how good I am and no true Muslim will brag or even will even take a chance on saying he's good or he's halfway good or not. It's up to Allah, God, to be the judge, see? So I'm not going to say one thing about uh, how good I am because I don't know. We never get good enough. I'm always striving to be right. And you asked me another question, why did I change? Because uh, I was raised a Baptist and after touring the world, uh, I found out that there are 600 million Muslims on the planet. What Jesus taught was good. What Moses taught was right. What Buddha taught was right. What Krishna taught was right. What Isaiah, Lot, Noah, God has always sent prophets to different people at different times with messages for those people. All of them are right. Jesus made a statement, I come not to destroy no law of the prophet, but to fulfill. All of God's prophets are right. You got to believe in all of them. So if a person follow Moses and live like Moses preached, if they follow Jesus, they follow a lot, any of the prophets. The religion is good, but the people do things in the name of the religion. A lot of Muslims do things they shouldn't do. A lot of Protestants, a lot of Buddhists, a lot of Hindus live like they shouldn't live. But the religion itself, the religion is right, but the people who follow religion ain't so right. So I choose to follow the Islamic path because I've never saw so much love. I never saw so many people hugging each other, kissing each other, praying five times a day. The women in the long garments, the way they would eat. You can go to any country and say, Assalamu alaikum, wa alaikum assalam. You got a home, you got a brother. I chose the Islamic path because it connected me. As a Christian in America, I couldn't go to the white churches. Uh, as a Christian, uh, that was for those people. It did them good. It didn't do me good. So the only thing that made me feel good, the only thing that made me feel free, that connected me with Saudi Arabia, the Islamic religion, connected me with Pakistan, Morocco, Syria. I sat down with Colonel Gaddafi, had dinner in his palace, stayed overnight because of a Muslim. As a Christian, I never could sit with Christian leaders. As a Muslim, I sat with Sadat, I sat with President Nasser, um, uh, Marcos of the Philippines, Ayu Khan of Pakistan before he died. I've been sat with kings of uh, Sheikh Zayed of Abu Dhabi. Kings and people of these nations have welcomed me as a brother and I'm a citizen. And now in America, I'm respected by all colors and throughout the world as a Muslim. See, the name Mohammed is the most common name in the world. There are more Mohammeds on the planet. There are four billion people on earth and every third person is a Muslim. So for me, I'm not condemning no other religion, but for me, being a world figure, John taking the name Muhammad Ali, which is the name of my people for the brother of America, accepting the Islamic religion, it was better for me. So I chose the Islamic religion. That's why I chose it. Muhammad. Muhammad, uh, now, after I I'm through, boxing, now, after I'm through boxing, I would like to be a minister. Don't you think I preach pretty good? Very good. Don't I make <laughs> it plain? Yes. Don't you understand now? You ask me, you ask me some pretty, you ask me some pretty tough questions, but didn't I make a lot of sense? I didn't, no. I didn't make the Christians hate me. I didn't make the Protestants hate me. I didn't make the Catholics hate me. I told you the truth. I said all of them are good if they live it. It's just the people who don't live it. So I chose the Islamic path. That's a, religion is a touchy thing. Religion. Very few people can see. I, some people, you say I'm a Muslim, don't want to hear you. Some people, you say I'm a Protestant, pow, pow. You say I'm a Catholic, pow, pow. This is the power of this. You see me do this, you call me the greatest. That's because I'm more religious than I am physical, and I study a lot. And you may be surprised if you hear me talk, because you never heard me talk this way. But I know about, I got about 45 lectures that I memorized in my ministry, and I can tell you something about all the religious books, all the religions, 
because I have a strong belief in God and humanity. That's why I'm helping these boys. That's why God blesses me to be so great here. Because all the time I've been here, I've been talking about God, pushing God, pushing religion. I'm not talking about me, how great I am, how much money I got. I'm always giving the praise to God. So that's why I'm as great as I am in this physical world, because I push him first. Well, Muhammad, we're running out of time now. Can I finish by saying I wouldn't presume to be your judge, no, but I know you know you pretty well, and I, ju boss, I judge boss. you as a pretty good fellow, and I think we all thank would agree you, with you, that. Thank, thank you.